Good morning, sunshines. Rachel with Four Kids and Farm. We have an abundance of zucchini. We just wanted to share with you today one of our favorite ways to preserve it, and that is dehydrating. So we're gonna take you through, we're gonna pick some zucchini, show you the garden, and just pick away, and then we're gonna go ahead and dehydrate them. And also while I'm out, I'm gonna go ahead and pick some flowers because we're going to market twice this week just because we have lots of flowers to get rid of and a high demand. And so we're gonna go ahead and pick flowers while we're out there too. Hi Lily. Hi Daisy. So my mom, Nani, she's been working super hard with the grandkids, my kiddos, to get her garden up. Isn't it pretty? She's got wood chips down and things are planted. She's just so cute, working so hard. So we've got two rows that are cover cropped. The ducks went through the first one and then Aaron cover cropped it. And then we've got our zinnias that we're gonna cut today. They're just starting to cover crop this row. And I don't know if it's the same. I think I think the other one has sun hemp. And this looks like something else. But we're trying to add organic matter and just like more nutrition to the soil because it's lacking. Regenerative baby. So we're picking zinnias today and sunflowers. Got some fillers to put in. So that's those rows. And the ducks. <laughs> the ducks are doing really good actually. So we're gonna be picking there. And then here's the rest of the sunflowers in succession. You guys, these spaghetti squash are doing so good. Look at these babies. They're just like clinging on to the Hortanova trellis and doing so good. And there's some more. Here's some eight balls. Some more. Some more guys. Just gotta train them up. Oh, look who's in here. Just chilling. <laughs> so these are like just jamming. Trellising is seriously the way to go. Oh my goodness. It's so good. We're just gonna go ahead and get in there and pick some of them. Oh little bee! Another one ready to go. Oh, there's a patty pan. We'll let that one get bigger. Okra is jamming. Another eight ball. You want to do it? Here. Eight. Eight ball. Those are my favorite.
Oh, it looks like a sunflower, huh? Yeah. What do you think? Good enough to eat? Good enough to eat. Take those into the house. I'll take the clippers. Thank you for your help. I've got to um, go pick now. Ooh. Right, you guys. Um, so now, zucchinis are picked and now we're gonna go ahead and pick the flowers and then we'll take you inside and show you what we do to dehydrate it. Okay, you guys, so this is our harvest from all the zucchinis. These are a uh, sunburst. We like to have them just chopped up um, on a snack plate, so they're super, super good. These ones are called the eight ball, shaped like an eight ball, and they're super good too. And I think this one is the, um, the green tint squash, I think. I think this one's the green tint what it looks like to me. The beginning's green tint, I think. So, that is our bundle that we're gonna just chop up today. And we're gonna put some water in here. And we're gonna use some salt to season it. Only the best, you guys. We love Redmond, like, it is just a good, pure salt. And they harvest it in their minds, it's just, we love this stuff, it tastes super good. We're kind of addicted to it. <laughs> And then this is our dehydrator. We've had this thing for, gosh, like over 10 years. And then you open it up. They have these individual trays, and so you can dry uh, fruits on them or zucchini like we're gonna be doing. And then they also have these trays, and these ones are for the fruit leather specifically. So if you puree something, you can go ahead and puree it. Lay it out here and smear it on here until it's flat and then you dry it and it comes out to be like a fruit leather, which is super good. And then it just kind of pops on like that. And these are the settings. They're pretty simple. One of the best ways to preserve your food, um, we have found for us that works just fantastic is dehydrating them. The best time we have found, Erin was actually just talking about this um, on Instagram, but one of the best times to uh, save your squash, your zucchini especially, is when you're not sick of it. So when you have the abundance, we just encourage you to go ahead and start uh, dehydrating it now or freezing it now. So freezing and dehydrating are one of our favorite methods to go ahead and do that for zucchini. So we're just going to show you the simple steps. You can add like different seasonings or whatever you want. Um, that's the beauty of dehydration. And so I just have some simple things. We just have our bowl. Go to fill it up with water and give these guys like have them sit in a little bit of water. And then we're also going to use our Redmond salt. Sprinkle this in there so it's a salt water bath. Sprinkle some goodness in there. Start cutting. So these guys are good. So I just kind of like to keep them thinner. Um, so they just start dry better. Just like that. Like that. Just pop them in the water. Okay. 
So dehydrating them um, is just, it's just easier for us. So this was where we first started with like preserving our food and saving it for later. So um, it just works really good. And I was reading that the nutritional content and all the good things that are in there, when you dehydrate, you're actually saving more nutrition in your food. It's more squash, isn't it? Huh? You have more squash, don't you? Uh, no. Who do you know? <laughs> and this is why we are totally dehydrating everything right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think that's gonna be what we say today. Yeah, it's all in there. So we're just gonna let this sit for, I don't know, 10 minutes. And then we'll pop them onto the trays for dehydration. Pretty good. They're just mesh trays, you guys, so that the air can flow through and dehydrate. Just pop a tray under there so the drippings can go ahead and be on that. And then we'll just lay them out. You can even just grab them. Make sure that they're individually laid out so they all can have the airflow. If they're on top of each other um, or too close to each other, then you're not going to get a very good result. Or it'll just take longer to uh, dehydrate. You just want to fill up every little nook and cranny to your best, the best of your ability. And uh, get those suckers on there. Just pop them in these little slots. Like so. Of course you <laughs> More. This is... More zucchini. The abundance that we always wait for, but get sick of really, really quick. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, if I could shed a little bit of word of wisdoms. Words of wisdom, word of wisdoms. Something like that. If I could tell you a good tip make sure that you are preserving when you're not sick of the food we have a zucchini for seriously every meal we cut it up fresh um, you know we need to start eating it for breakfast with eggs we have a zucchini for dinner every single day I give loads of it away at work and so for us what kind of drives us to preserve now is that first we're not sick of it and if you remember how much, just remind yourself how expensive uh, organic zucchini is in the winter when you want to have like a nice soup or casserole. And honestly, like it, here in California, it could be $5 a pound, which is just stupid. I could <laughs> buy three packs of seeds of zucchini and feed the nation <laughs> with all that zucchini. So, um, yeah, when you're not sick of it, when you're getting all this good stuff, just take some time, dehydrate it. We've had this dehydrator since we were married. Yeah. How, how many years have we been married? 16 years? Yeah. Holy cow. So it's ancient. I just said more like than 10 are. years, but. Yeah. It's I mean, like, it is ancient. Gosh, really? 16 years? Did we first get it when we got married? Yeah. I think it was like one of the first things we bought. Yeah, I think years. you're right. So you dry it. Put it in your jars it's put in like perfect servings for a meal so like you pour this into your soup or you use it in a casserole or whatever and you know it's nice because it, we don't have to we can cross the zucchinis off of our grocery list all year long so it's never going to be the same as a fresh zucchini but it'll be better than buying it We have an audience. 
<laughs> okay guys, and by the way, um, this is our first time using our four jars lids. Canning season is upon us. And if you want to get a head start, if you want to get bulk lids, um, this, this is an American company. They're from Florida. Fantastic family. You can get like lids in the hundreds. And I know last year it was like impossible to find lids. 10% off with our link. We get a little commission. We're affiliated with them. So it helps us out as well. And it doesn't cost you anything. These are built better. They're not supposed to rust. They're more sturdy. And they seal better, right? They seal, yeah, they, they engineered it so they made a bigger, uh, a little bit more of a lip, so it seals better. Alright guys, dehydrating your own food is so easy. You don't even need salt. Using the salt gives a little bit more shelf life, uh, a little bit more peace of mind for us, uh, but it's gonna be shelf stable for over a year. Preserving your food is easy. Thanks for hanging out with us. Questions, put them below. Smash that like button. Share this video with somebody who has way too many zucchinis and needs an idea of how to store them forever. Thanks, guys. Like and subscribe. No, turkey. Gotta do turkey. Oh, I'm a turkey. turkey. It's the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Peace.